Now slide, slide, baby, slide, slide, baby, slide, slide, baby, slide. What's going on, Power Director peeps? Another Tablet Tuesday has crept up on us, and today I'm going to show you how to make a magnificent slideshow using the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you've been wondering how to make a slideshow using the Power Director Mobile app, I want you to put hashtag slideshow in the comment section below. Here we are in the Power Director Video Editor app. A slideshow is an interesting way to reveal pictures to your viewing audience. Rather than just having static pictures show up on the screen, in a slideshow, the pictures have random movements and transitions to keep the audience engaged. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a magnificent slideshow for your videos. It's time to slide. First thing that you want to do is set up your image duration. So I'm going to tap on the cog up here. Then I'm going to tap on settings. Now the reason why we want to set up our image duration is because you want to determine how long you want all of your pictures to be before you add them to the timeline. If you add them to the timeline first and you end up wanting to have your pictures longer or shorter, then you're going to have to trim them and it's going to take more time. So to bypass that, you could just tap on default image duration. And then you can set the duration for all of your pictures that you add to the timeline. So if you want them to just be like a second, you can move it down to one second. I'm going to leave it at five seconds because I think that's a pretty good duration. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap on OK. And now I'm going to tap on back. Next, you want to add your pictures to the main video track. So just make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the video track timeline. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on the media icon. Then we'll tap on the picture icon. And then we'll go to the location on the device that has the pictures. For this example, we're going to tap on pictures. And then you want to tap on the picture you want to add first. And then you want to tap on the plus sign. So you want to do that for all of the pictures. Just tap them and tap plus and add them all to the main timeline track. Now, I definitely wish there was a quicker way to do this, but right now in the program, the only way to do it is by adding each picture individually. So if you got 30 pictures, 50 pictures, you're gonna be doing this for a minute. Now, once you get everything added, you wanna go ahead and tap on back and then tap back one more time. Now, when you add pictures to Power Director, it automatically adds some type of motion to each one of the pictures. So you can leave the motion like it is, and it'll probably be some type of random different motion added to each one of these. And you can do that if you want, or you can go ahead and change up the motion how you want it. So if you tap on the first one, and then you tap on the edit icon, you can tap on pan and zoom. And then you have the option to remove all of the uh, effects that were added. You can add custom motion and change it up if you want to, all of that good stuff. We're gonna leave it on random motion and we can just tap on cancel, we can tap okay. I'm just gonna tap on apply to all. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna add some transitions between each one of these clips because as you can tell, when you play them right now, they just jump from picture to picture. There is no different type of transition, they just, jump right so we want to add transitions between all of them so that it looks smooth when it moves from image to image so the first thing that you want to do is tap on the transition icon and then you can go and you can pick whatever transition that you want you can choose different transitions for each one if you want to i just like normal fades or dissolves so i'm just going to tap on fade and i'm going to tap on the plus sign and I'm gonna tap on the next transition and I'm gonna keep doing that and keep adding fades to each one of these transitions. Once again, I wish there was a ripple transition option within the app, but unfortunately there is not. So once you get all of your transitions added, you can go ahead and tap on the back side, move your playhead to the beginning of the track. And then if you press play, you should see a great little slideshow.
And that's how you make a magnificent slideshow using the Power Director Video Editor app. If you decide that you like what the Power Director Video Editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.